Welcome to the Dashboard System at the University of Kansas. Here, we try to connect effective writing strategies with technology solutions to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of writing for all learners, especially those with disabilities. In this video, we will show how special education and general education teachers collaborate to support all students in writing, but especially those with Individual Education Plans, or IEP, written language goals. As a special education teacher, Jackie collaborates daily with content teachers, often discussing student progress in writing. In order to accurately assess writing needs, the team struggles to find formative yet simple measures that can quickly relay student writing skills. As a special education teacher, I'm expected to monitor the student's progress on an ongoing basis and, and report that monitoring every quarter, once a quarter, but I have to look at it to guide my teaching. Here, a middle school team meets to discuss students showing deficits in written language. Often, a student writes a minimal number of words, makes errors in grammar, verb tenses, punctuation, capitalization, or spelling. Teachers confer to see if this is happening across content areas. Social studies, language arts, and special education teachers compare writing samples and products from their classes. Writing products usually have teacher-made rubrics, which at times can be inconsistent, hard to compare, and time-consuming to develop and implement. A solution to get a true view of growth in writing fluency is progress monitoring through the Educator Dashboard. Progress monitoring shows consistent, concise data records for individual student writing skills. From these weekly or bi-weekly scores, the team documents baseline level of performance, works on IEP goals, and monitors progress in order to best meet student needs. Progress monitoring is a short writing session that provides data in a way to consistently measure goal benchmarks. The format is the same for each sitting, and the student writers become comfortable with the task after a couple writings. The short write yields accuracy data for grammar, capitalization, punctuation, and spelling in a score called a correct writing sequence. Teachers then use the data to plan for instruction. For example, here is an IEP goal written for sixth grader, Jack. He completed three bi-weekly short writes over a six-week period. He averaged 33 words and 27 correct word sequences, and he scored below the 10th percentile in two out of three writings. Jackie and her team noted that spelling was a big problem. In addition, Jack struggled with organizing his thoughts and moving them from his brain to the short write. In an effort to meet the state and local writing standards, Jackie and her team wrote the following IEP goal using the progress monitoring data as their measuring stick. When given a writing task, Jack will write 36 correct word sequences or more than 55 attempted words written with 65% accuracy by March 10th, 2017. A progress monitoring goal that I've used um, with the data from StartPaw would talk about how many words a student can write in a certain amount of time. It's very cut and dry, black and white um, information to share. At this point, your child is writing 35 words in a three minute time dry and um, only 20 of those are spelled correctly. So what we can look at next time is 35 words, but 30 of them are spelled correctly and we work our goals up to increase their progress. In order to accomplish this goal, the team decides to implement CoWriter Universal which includes word prediction, text-to-speech, and spell check. They also decide to use Inspiration, which is an interactive graphic organizer that helps Jack get his thoughts gathered before attempting to write. When, when working with the language arts and the social studies teachers, it is good to have that common language of correct word sequences and total words written. The progress monitoring data facilitates collaboration between special education and general education personnel while also supporting the development of solid IEP goals. Collaborating with the gen ed teachers has always been an important part of my job and, and one of the things that we take the time to do is talk about what they've got coming up in their classrooms and we use the information that I get from the short writes and from other writing pieces to help guide their teaching together and how I can support them in the classroom. Tools such as CoWriter Universal and Inspiration help the student and teacher team meet these goals. That topic sentence, getting those reasons and examples, and then finally that ending, that organization that that inspiration offers us 
is huge. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a vast improvement in sixth grade in organization in a paper that we haven't seen in the past. Learn more about these tools as well as many others on the Teacher Dashboard System from the University of Kansas.